How's it going everyone? This is Adam from Slurve, Ship My Money on DraftKings, and I'll be breaking down today's pitching slate for you for July 5th. Today's a pretty interesting slate. I think there's a couple of clear-cut cash options, and then some more interesting plays you can make in tournaments. So starting with cash on DraftKings, I really want to try and pay up at pitcher today, and try and actually get both of Bumgarner and Carrasco. Bumgarner's 11,700, Carrasco's 11,500. And I just think they're the two safest and highest upside pitchers on the slate. So I really just want to get both of them and then fill out my lineup with some value bats since there's not any crazy, any games that are projected to be crazy high scoring today. Um, I want to, you know, just try and pay down at hitter if I can. If I do pay down at pitcher for my second starting pitcher, I think it's going to be to Yin Chen at 5500 He's just priced too low, and he's got a good matchup with the Mets, who have struggled to hit left-handed pitching all season long. So if I can't fit bats that I want with Carrasco and Bumgarner, then I'm going to probably pay all the way down to Chen and be able to get better bats. On FanDuel, I think you have to play either one of Carrasco or Bumgarner. Um, I think Bumgarner is a little bit safer pitching against the Rockies in San Francisco. Um, they struggled to hit lefties. They struggled to hit away from Coors Field. So I think he's a little bit safer than Carrasco, who matches up with the Tigers, who obviously do have a lot of power in any given game, can score a lot of runs. But if your hitters leave you with enough money for Carrasco and you don't want to you know, sacrifice any hitting to get up to Bumgarner, I'm perfectly fine with that. And I think Carrasco is a fine cash play as well. For GPPs on DraftKings, once again, I really like Baumgartner and Carrasco. You know, I think they both have very high upsides in this matchup. Um, I also like David Price at 9,500. He's facing a Texas team that can definitely hit, but the game is in Boston, not in Texas. And I think Price has struggled a little bit in his last couple of outings, so people might be off him a little bit tonight. And on a slate where there's really not a whole lot of pitching upside, I think it's a chance to get some big-time upside that comes with some risk, but also will probably come with lower ownership than the other guys like Carrasco and Bumgarner. Um, Chris Tillman on DraftKings, I think, is priced too low at 7000 I think he's a really interesting tournament play. He's had a couple of rough starts, but the Dodgers have struggled to hit right-handed pitching all season long, so I think... Tillman with the price decrease and the park boost against a offense that struggles, I think is a pretty nice spot, and he has some upside there. Kenta Maeda also in that game at 8,800 um, faces the Orioles team, who can obviously hit really well, but they also can strike out a lot. He's at home. He's favored in a game with a total of 7.5. I think he's a decent tournament play as well. On FanDuel, I like Carrera and Carrasco, like I said. I think Price is even more interesting on FanDuel than he is on DraftKings because his ownership will be even lower. He's priced at 10000 so he's basically the same price as Carrasco. And since you only roster one pitcher, he's, I think, really going to be under-owned. So he's a really interesting tournament option to me on DraftKings, or on FanDuel, I'm sorry. Um, Taiwan Walker at 7400 I think, is priced too low. Obviously, he's in a rough matchup with Houston, but they do strike out a lot, and he can get some strikeouts. So he's someone that at 7400 I think, has a lot of upside. And the game is facing some weather issues, but if the weather clears up. I think Sean Manea at 6,300 is a really interesting matchup on FanDuel. Um, you know, you're not punished for base runners he allows, and I think he definitely can get some strikeouts in this matchup against the Twins team that strikes out 24% of the time against lefties and is without Trevor Plouffe. I think that 6,300 is too low for his upside, so if the weather clears up, he is a very interesting tournament option for me. So that's what I'm thinking on pitching for right now. As always, stop into the chat throughout the day, and we'll be having our live show today at 5 o'clock Eastern, so stop in for that, and good luck today, guys.